Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Daly coming on for math. Um, today we're going to work on some patterns. First we're going to talk about different kinds of patterns with pictures and then we'll move into number patterns and use our hundreds chart to find the pattern within the numbers. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And like I said, first we're going to talk about pictures. And if you are in my class, some of this may be familiar in review for you. Um, if you're not in my class and you're just watching my videos, then this might be new material. So I'm going to make sure that we break it down and talk about it together just in case it's brand new for you. Okay. So a pattern is when you have something that repeats itself. So for example, in this first pattern, we have two different coins. We have a penny and then we have a nickel. So that penny nickel combination is going to keep repeating ourselves. So we have penny, nickel, penny, nickel, penny, and then we can make a prediction. We can guess what would come next based on what we see so far. So this type of pattern, let me go ahead and get my marker out is called an AB pattern because it is only two things switching. So this would be A, B, A, B, A, and what would come next if we had to guess? Yeah, B, right? So because it's an AB pattern, I can always look at what the last letter is. So if the last letter is A, then I know my B comes next. So I look at my shape for the B and what coin is this for B? Very good, yeah, it's a nickel. So if I needed to guess what came next, I could move my nickel oops, all the way up to the top, okay? So the first kind of pattern we have is A, B, where the letters are just switching between A and B, A and B, okay? So this pattern here is also an A, B pattern. If I were to get my marker, I could see that the dime is my first in my pattern, so that's my A, and then I have a quarter, and then I have a dime again, so I'm gonna use the same letter because it's the same shape. So A, B, A, B, what comes next? Good, an A and then a B, right? So what is my picture? What coin do I have for the letter A? A dime, very good. So if I were to move this up with your finger, can you touch the dime down here on the bottom? Very good. So I have a dime. Move it a little bit so we can see again. Okay, so dime was my first one, and then I said a B comes next. So what's my coin for B? What coin is this? Very good, it's a quarter. So if I were to go down with your finger, can you touch the picture of a quarter? Beautiful job. I'm gonna move it up a tiny bit. Or maybe I'm not. Okay. So you can see that my pattern continues, A, B, A, B, okay. So that's one kind of pattern. Another kind of pattern we could have is where the pictures um, are more than one. So if you look at this next pattern, you have two dimes and then a penny. So I'm going to label each of my pictures with a letter. So my dime is the letter A and I have another dime, so it's still gonna be the letter A, okay? my new picture is a penny. So I'm gonna give that new picture the next letter. So after A comes B. So I have, so far I have two dimes and a penny. So it's A, A, B. What picture do I have next? Good, a dime. And I already labeled the dime. Dimes are what letter? An A, beautiful. So I have another A. And then this is a dime. Dimes are what letter? Okay, good job. So then what do you think is gonna come next? If I look at how my repeating shapes are going so far, I have dime, dime, penny. So it's an A, A, B pattern. A, A, what comes next? B, very good. 
And that just means that the shape that we gave the A to happens more than one time in a row. So it's two A's and then a B, two dimes and a penny. So let's read our pattern and see if we can make a prediction and guess what comes next. Dime, dime, penny. Dime, dime. Good, I have lots of, lots of friends at home saying penny. So with your finger at home, can you touch the picture of the penny down here? Beautiful job. All right. And then we have another type of pattern. Let me go ahead and clear this so we can see our pictures. So in this pattern, we're gonna label our letters again. So the first one, we always start with the letter A just like the alphabet starts with the letter A. And then, so my penny is an A. I have a new picture here. What picture is this? A dime, very good. So it's a new picture from a penny, so it gets a new letter. So I have A, B, and then I have another new picture. So this is a quarter, very good. I heard some of you saying quarter. So because it's another new picture, I need another new letter. So I'm gonna have the letter C. And now I have a penny again. So what letter goes with my penny? An A, very good. So this is what this pattern looks like. A, B, C. A, B, C. Penny, dime, quarter. Penny, what comes next? With your finger, can you touch the coin down here that you think comes next? Very good, a dime comes next, beautiful job. Penny, dime, quarter. Penny, dime, what comes next? Beautiful job, the quarter. All right, I think you guys are starting to get it. So we're gonna move on and we're gonna talk about patterns with numbers because numbers can also repeat themselves. And the easiest way to figure out how numbers are repeating is to use our handy dandy hundreds chart that Ms. Daly makes you use all the time, right? So what I want to do is I want to figure out what number is missing. My question says, what comes next? So I'm gonna start by circling all of the numbers in my pattern so far. So I have the number three, so on your hundreds chart at home, and I put a link for the hundreds chart in this video so you could download one at home. Um, on your hundreds chart at home, you're gonna circle the three, and then what number comes next? Six, very good. And I have a blank spot, so I'm gonna come back to that. What number comes after the blank spot? 12, very good. So I'm gonna go to my 12 and circle that, okay? And then my next one is a 15, very good. I'm gonna circle that, okay? And then I have an 18, so I'm gonna circle that one. Okay, so I circled all my numbers. Now I need to figure out what we are counting by, if my numbers are getting bigger or if they're getting smaller. And then I need to figure out how many I need to count to figure out this number that's missing. So let me make myself big so that you can see my hundreds chart a little bit better. Okay, so this is the number I started on. And this is the number I ended on. All right, so I like to put a little dot or a little coloring on the corner so that I know that's where I started. So I can tell if my numbers are getting bigger or if they're getting smaller. So are my numbers, here's where I started and here's where I ended, are they getting bigger or smaller? They're getting bigger, right? They're going up. So then I know that I am adding. I'm adding numbers onto my hundreds chart, okay? So now I need to know how much am I adding? How many numbers am I going up each time? So the way to do that is to count how many places until you get to the next spot. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I start here, I'm gonna count how many dots until I touch the next circle. One, two, three. So there's three there, okay? So I'm gonna put a little three, just to remind myself that that was three, okay? So then I'm gonna do the same thing between the next set of dots. Now I know that there is one missing here, so I'm not gonna count between those, those ones, but I'm gonna try these next two circles together. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna count how many spaces till I get to the next circle. One, two, 
three. So there were three here as well. Okay, so I put my three just to remind myself. And then if I start here, I'm gonna count one, two, and three. There's three there. So how many am I adding by? Is the number staying the same? Yeah, right, I'm adding by three each time, okay? So let me go back to my unique program so you can see what I see. And see that gave us some coins that we could count to figure out that we were adding to three. So this pattern, there's three pennies and then three more is six. So now I know that we figured out I need to add three more. So if I start at six, I start at my six and I add three, one, two, three, what number am I landing on? Let me circle it so you can see it a little bit better. What number is that? Very good, a nine. It's a nine and I am counting by three, so I want to find the nine that has three pennies on it. So with your finger, let me scroll down so you can see. Oh, sorry, I was thinking the answers were on the bottom, but they are not. Okay. Um, can you find the nine that has three pennies on it? So with your finger, can you touch the nine that has three pennies on it? Beautiful job. All right, so I'm going to erase my hundreds chart so we can work on the next one. So the next problem, we are counting by eights, right? Excuse me, I can see in the picture, let me zoom it in. I can see in the picture here, there are eight pennies. So I know I'm counting by eights, but I'm gonna start at the number eight. Okay, I'm gonna start at the number eight and I need to figure out what comes next. So I need to add eight more, okay? So I start at eight and then count eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What number did we land on? Beautiful job, 16. Okay, can you find the number 16, but it needs to have eight pennies on it, not four pennies, okay? Because we're counting by eights. So can you find the 16 that has eight pennies? Beautiful job, yep. Yeah. So this 16 and this 16, but I need the one that has eight pennies, so I'm gonna count the pennies. One, two, three, four. All right, that one's not enough, so let me check the other one. Let's count the pennies together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful counting, guys, you got it. And we hear our ding, so we know we got it right. Now this problem had two numbers missing, so I found the 16. Um, and then if I keep counting by eights, I will get to the 24. Okay, and then I get to 32. But now I have another number missing, right? I have, if you look at my arrow, I have this gray box here. So I'm missing another number. So my numbers are getting bigger. So I know I'm adding. And how many do I need to add? Yeah, I need to add eight pennies, right? So I'm going to start on 32 and we're going to add eight together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight, and what number did we land on? Yeah, we got 40, right? Beautiful job. So remember, we need the 40 that has eight pennies on it. So with your finger, let me move it up so you can see. Can you touch the number 40? Beautiful job, guys. 40. There it goes, all right. Our next one, we are counting by fours. We're counting by fours and we're starting on the number four. And are my numbers getting bigger, going up, adding, or are they getting smaller, subtracting? Yeah, they're getting bigger, right? All of our problems today, our numbers are getting bigger. Um, so we're gonna start on four. So let me circle my four. And I'm going to circle these, all three of these numbers, because they're already there, and I know that they are in my pattern. So I have a 4, 8, and 12. Okay. 
So just to verify, if I wanted to make sure that I was counting by four, even though the picture tells me that, I could start here and count how many until I get to the next circle. So I'm here, one, two, three, and four. All right, let's check one more time, ready? I'm here, one, two, three, and four. Beautiful. So I know my pattern is that I'm adding because my numbers are getting bigger and I'm adding by four. So I'm gonna start where my last number was and I'm gonna add four. One, two, three, and four. Let me circle it so that you can see it. And what number did I land on? Beautiful job, guys, 16. All right, can you, with your finger, touch the number 16? 16, very good. This one was tricky because we have 60 over here and we have 16, but we know we're counting by fours and we want 16, a one and a six together. Beautiful counting. All right, this one we're counting by tens, which is easy peasy because in a previous lesson, and if you didn't watch that lesson, that's okay, but we used our hundreds chart to label for skip counting. And I know, I'm gonna color really quick so you guys can see it, but I know that when I skip count by tens, it's all the numbers that end in a zero, which means, I'm almost ready, it's all the numbers in this last column, right? So my pattern starts at 10, and then I go 20. What comes after 20? 30, very good. So with your finger, can you touch the 30? Let me zoom it in because it's a little small for you guys. Can you touch the 30 with your finger? Beautiful job. And then if I keep going, so I started 30. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What comes next? Beautiful, yeah, 60. Great job. All right. 60. So those are some patterns with numbers. How are we feeling about patterns with numbers? It's just like skip counting, except for we have to change our numbers a little bit. So thumbs up if I feel good, thumbs to the side, I kinda get it, and thumbs down, I'm totally lost. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's move on to the next one. And this will be the last one we do today for practice. And then I'm gonna tell you what you can do at home to practice patterns, okay? So if I look at this, I know I'm counting by what? What am I counting by? Yeah, I'm counting by twos because there's a picture of $2. So I can fill that out down here already, right? Because if I look at my picture, I see there's two in there. So I'm gonna type in the number two because we're counting by twos. So we need to figure out what's missing, right? Let me erase my board. I could, on my hundreds chart, color in all my columns for counting by twos, but I wanna show you guys the strategy we've been practicing instead. So I'm gonna start at the two, and if I'm counting by twos, that means I'm adding two because my numbers are getting bigger, so I'm just gonna add two. One, two, what number did I land on? Oops, sorry. Four, good job. So with your finger, can you guys touch the number four? Beautiful job. All right, so I have my four. So now I know my next number is six and my pattern is counting by two. So I start at the six and I count two, one, two. What number did I land on? Beautiful job, and eight. All right, my next number is 10. So now I need to figure out what comes next, which means I start at the 10 and I add two. Now remember when we get to the end of our hundreds chart, we go all the way back over to the next line, okay? So one and two. Circle it so you can see it a little bit better. What number did we land on? Beautiful job, 12. Are you noticing that our numbers are in order? Easy peasy, right? So my next number is 14. And then I need to count two more to figure out what's missing. So one, two, what number did I land on? 16, beautiful. All right, my next number is 18. Let me go ahead and circle it. And now I need to figure out what comes next. So I'm gonna add two, one and two. What number did I land on? Beautiful job, 20. 
And then my next number is 22. And I need to figure out what comes next. So I'm gonna count two. One and two, what did I land on? Great job, you guys, great counting. So patterns are easy, right? You just have to see um, what's repeating and keep repeating. Um, so here's your job at home. Here's what I want you to practice at home. In your house, I want you to find something that you have a lot of. For example, you could use Legos that are different colors. You could use different fruits that you might have, like maybe an apple and then an orange. You could use some of your animals that you might have in your bed, but I want you to make a repeating pattern. So for example, if you have lots of fruit snacks at home and they're all different colors, you can make a pattern that's green, red, green, red, green, red of your fruit snacks. Or you could even go outside and find different size rocks and make a pattern of big and small rocks, okay? There's lots of things that you could find in your house to create patterns, so I want you to practice that skill at home while you're working um, and enjoying some nature outside because that's a good place to find things to make patterns, okay? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I will see you next time. Bye.